there is working and pushing everyone off of 676. I was going to note that there is something about this time period, this hour of the day. Where, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't it around this time that we saw the same kind of highway stoppage? Um, April 14th, before the Philly shooting, the Tampa Hospital. Action News, Channel 6 is there. Hmm. Man, I am tempted to just get out and go hang out. You got all the needs. Temple Health University. I'm just going to be willing to bet there was a shooting, you know? I, I don't know. It's 5.04. Hmm. It's not a fire. I'm telling you, this is a, this is a shooting. And the shooter probably looks like me, and they're probably looking for him right now. Yeah, There's something about this. Go ahead, Jeremy. Sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say, it seems like everybody's moving away very fast. Whatever's going on underneath the overpass there is working and pushing everyone off of 676. I was going to note that there is something about this time period, this hour of the day. Aaron, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't it around this time that we saw the same kind of highway stoppage? Not a Home Depot. But it is in Philly, and there is a hospital. We're not moving anywhere. It's 504. Things went downhill from there after as of June 1st, 2020. Not chaos. This is our mission, and we will succeed 100%. We will succeed. Our country always wins. That is why I am taking immediate presidential action to stop the violence and restore security and safety in America. I am security and safety in America for you are fully aware that the day the Lord will come as a thief in the night while people are saying peace and security in America destruction will come upon them destruction is coming suddenly like labor pains on a pregnant woman and they will not escape but you brothers are not in the darkness so that this day should overtake you like a thief and restore security and safety in America. I am mobilizing all available federal resources, civilian and military, to stop the rioting, to stop the rioting and looting. Back on March 12th, 2020, when the NBA was canceled, get ready for house arrest, and martial law will become our soldiers. Martial law, National Guard, Whatever that the title wants to be put on them is who's going to be called. They're the ones that you're going to see on the corners of the streets. So whatever the title is, that's that's who they are there. The virus is shutting everything down. It's shutting down the NBA game, the season. It's a pandemic worldwide. So just get ready to be on house arrest. That's basically what's going to happen. You'll have the martial law when they're out there and it's declared. The idea is to get everybody in your house glued to the TV because when they say peace and safety violence and restore security and safety in America. I am mobilizing all available federal Today's resources. June 2nd, 2020.
to stop the rioting and looting, to end the destruction and arson, and to protect the rights of law-abiding Americans, including your Second Amendment rights. Therefore, the following measures are going into effect immediately. First, we are ending the riots and lawlessness that has spread throughout our country. We will end it now. Today, I have strongly recommended to every governor to deploy the National Guard in sufficient numbers that we dominate the streets. Mayors and governors must establish an overwhelming law enforcement presence until the violence has been quelled. If a city or state refuses to take the actions that are necessary to defend the life and property of their residents, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. Just look at it like this. Has anybody ever been on house arrest for like five months, two months, three months, six months? It's basically like we're going to be on house arrest. We are putting everybody on warning. Our 7 o'clock curfew will be strictly enforced. Those who threaten innocent life and property will be arrested, detained, and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. I want the organizers of this terror to be on notice that you will face severe criminal penalties and lengthy sentences in jail. It's time. It's time.